I'm Evelyn Lauder, not Larry Norton. <laughs> and uh, I'm absolutely delighted to welcome all of you here. Uh, the ladies and gentlemen who are supporters of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, as well as our amazing researchers who are here with us today. As you may know, um, last year, we were incredibly successful in raising sufficiently more funds in order to be able to give 15 or 16 more awards to researchers this year. It was the most successful year in the history of the foundation. This would have been uh, finishing our 15th year and in, uh, now in October, we're beginning our Sweet 16. And um, I hope that in the spring, when we do our um, big spring benefit, we will have a Sweet 16 party. And nobody should buy a new dress. <laughs> you wear, wear something you wore to your prom if your waistline, <laughs> if your waistline still fits. We are thrilled that today our, uh, most of our 166 researchers are with us uh, at this symposium. And um, my goal for the foundation is to go out of business, to cure to cure this disease and all of cancer. And um, we are on the way with researchers of the caliber that you will hear during the symposium. Um, there will be an opportunity for questions and answers. And um, I know that you're going to be extraordinarily impressed. I believe that the only way that you as supporters are going to be able to really um, get your arms around what it is we do is to give back to you by having this symposium so that you can understand the progress that's being made and you can understand better and tell your friends and learn more about the disease because I believe that knowledge is power and the more power we have against this the better it will be. In these unfortunate economic times, I'm especially grateful for your support and for your continuing support for and to prioritize to help with this, especially at a time when the federal government is reducing its funding so very dramatically. The private sector has increased its percentage of support by comparison as a result of the decrease in the federal government's funding. So it's of major importance that you stay with us and that you help us during these especially challenging times. Today's topic is going to be cancer cells and what makes them different. And to lead the seminar, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the scientific director for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Let me tell you one or two things about him before he comes up. No, no. <laughs> he is the <laughs> he is the um, act, he is the uh, assistant physician in chief for breast cancer services at Memorial Sloan Kettering has also been uh, the president of ASCO a few years ago. And uh, parenthetically, it would be, it's nice for you to know that after him, uh, for two or three years, other researchers who are part of our team were also president of uh, ASCO, the American Society of Clinical Oncology, which is a huge, 25,000 member organization from not only the United States but all over the world. Uh, Dr. Norton is also the scientific director of the foundation and it was the model that he created uh, uh, to coordinate research 
in breast cancer that was missing back in 1993 when we were first founded. This model now is extraordinary because we have a website portal which has been generously underwritten by one of our board members which allows our physician and researchers to coordinate with one another at any time, speeding up the process of communication, information, and hopefully progress.